in my day as a student nurse, as a very young nurse, it was inconceivable that we would send a child home and expect a mother and to cope with a child with a tracheotomy, that's a breathing tube, or a gastrostomy, a feeding tube. Seizuring, being up all night, it was inconceivable that we would expect a parent to cope with that. Nowadays, that's not that uncommon. Yeah, I'm a nurse and I have a special interest in nursing of children, nursing of sick children, and as a result of that, I became very interested in children with high and complex medical needs with intellectual needs, disabilities, mm. physical disabilities, medical issues, medical problems. And what I saw in hospital was that a lot of these children went to a hospital to, be, to have a break, for the parents to have a break. So social policy changed, which meant that families have to look after these children and, and um, manage them at home. And so, I, so Kara Hands is really a, a way of living or a concept that sort of says, well, Perhaps children can be looked after within the community, within a family home, and really I've just embraced that by saying I invite families to make contact with me and become part of my family, and they can be cared for for short periods of time within that kind of family home so that families can regroup, they can get their energy back, and that their child can be part of the community. And Debbie Mustard was a, a nurse that I trained with, mm. and we set it up and as, as an idea and as a concept, just offering one weekend every six weeks mm -hmm. to families. And then it became such a rewarding thing to do. It's just me and I'm following a new direction and encouraging new people to come in and, and take the mantle if you like, come with new ideas, fresh energy, and, and, and carry on. So really all I'm doing is trying to walk the path alongside of another family, but because I am not the child's mother, I have more, a little bit more energy maybe, a little bit more enthusiasm, a little bit more time, especially, to say, well, I can contribute and enrich that child's life. We can do that. We can enrich that child's life by making that effort to go to the cafe, to go to the movies, to go swimming, to go to Zealandia and push a wheelchair up and down, or go to Staglands even, or to the zoo, which we've done this week. Um, and all of those places where, ch where parents want to be able to do that, they can't do it. They get tired and they'll really Essentially all I'm doing really is meeting an unmet need within our community, doing something that I really love and that I'm passionate about and I guess just giving of myself of something back 